What's up with you, but it's your man Moya B. And Nicole. And we're back here with some more reaction videos, man. So yeah, man, I like this video, man. Um, I wanted Nicole to check it out because it's definitely you know, pretty interesting, man. It's the Fermi Paradox. We're all the aliens. So... Okay. Mm you know, there are aliens out there, man. It's a possibility. Yeah, no, I know. I don't disagree. You know, because the universe is so big. The universe is always... It's still expanding. So we don't know what is out there, man. True. Like me, I don't rule out the possibilities. You I know? don't either. I just don't rule out the possibilities. No, you just don't know. Possible. You know, like I said in my other video, I was like, it could be a possibility that the planets around us, Saturn, Pluto, it could be, it could be like other civilization on Earth. We can't see them. They can't see us. It could be that possibility too. You know? Yeah, but we know that those planets don't sustain life right now. You no, know, what I'm saying is, it don't sustain life for us. I'm saying oh. is, it could be, you know. Invisible beings mm -hmm. out there. Let, let's let's say okay, we go to Saturn, right? Let's say it's people on Mars. It's Martians on Mars, right? But they got advanced technology. They don't know. They they look at Earth and they say, "Well, it's, it's nobody. It's no way nobody can sustain life on Earth. They don't see nobody on Earth." You I, see what I'm saying? No, I do totally understand point. what you're saying. But I think that like, don't you think we would have seen them by now? Because we've been I'm there. Saying, and we like have like. That's what I'm saying from the standpoint. I'm saying from the standpoint. That's what they can't see us. We can't see them. Maybe. We don't know. No. Or they're just they're just mini theories, or <laughs> you know, the universe is, is so many mini, is so many galaxies. I and, think that's more likely the yeah, case. So there's yeah, so many know, galaxies so, far, so far away that there's likely life somewhere that we just yeah. haven't been able to get. Or to. it could just be us. It could just be yeah. us, which would be really weird. Yeah. But we can dive right into it. Are we the only living things in the entire universe? The observable universe is about 90 billion light years in diameter. There are at least 100 billion galaxies, each with 100 to 1,000 billion stars. Recently, we've learned that planets are very common too. And there are probably trillions and trillions of habitable planets in the universe, mm -hmm. which means there should be lots of opportunity for life probably. to develop and exist, yeah. right? But where is it? Shouldn't the universe be teeming with spaceships? <laughs> Let's take a step back. Even if there are alien civilizations in other galaxies, there's no way we'll ever know about them. Basically, everything outside of our direct galactic neighborhood, the so-called local group, is pretty much out of our reach forever mm. because of the expansion of the universe. Yeah. Even if we had really fast spaceships, it would literally take billions of years to reach these places. Dang. Yeah. Traveling through the emptiest areas in the universe. So let's focus on the Milky Way. The Milky Way is our home galaxy. It consists of up to 400 billion stars. Man. That's a lot of stars, roughly yeah. 10,000 for every grain of sand on Earth. Ooh. There are about 20 billion sun-like stars in the Milky Way, and estimates suggest that a fifth of them have an Earth-sized planet in its habitable zone, huh. the area yeah. with conditions that enable life to exist. If only 0.1% of those planets harbored life, there would be one million planets with life Ooh, in the geez, Milky Way. But wait, yeah. there's more. The Milky Way is about 13 billion years old. In the beginning, it would not have been a good place for life because things exploded a lot. But after one to two billion years, the first habitable planets were born. Earth is only four billion years old, so there have probably been trillions of chances for life to develop on other planets in the past. If only a single one of them had developed into a space-traveling super-civilization, we would have noticed by now. What would such a civilization look like? There are three categories. A Type 1 civilization would be able to access the whole energy available on its planet. In case you're wondering, we're currently around 0.73 on the scale, and we should reach Type 1 sometime in the next couple of hundred years. Wow. Type 2 would be a civilization capable of harnessing all of the energy of its home star. This would require some serious science fiction, but it is doable in principle. Concepts like the Dyson Sphere, a giant complex surrounding the Sun, would be conceivable. Mm. Type 3 is a civilization that basically controls its whole galaxy and its energy. An alien race this advanced would probably be godlike to us. Yeah. But why should we be able to see such an alien civilization in the first place? If we were to build generation spaceships that could sustain a population for around 1,000 years, we could colonize the whole galaxy in 2 million yeah. years. Oh my Sounds like a long time. But remember, the Milky Way is huge. 
So if it takes a couple of million years to colonize the entire galaxy, and there are possibly millions, if not billions, of planets that sustain life in the Milky Way, and these other life forms have had considerably more time than we've had, then where are all the aliens? This is the Fermi Paradox, and nobody has an answer to it. But we do have some ideas. Let's talk about filters. A filter in this context represents a barrier that is really hard for life to overcome. They come in various degrees of scary. One, there are great filters and we have passed them. Maybe it is way harder for complex life to develop than we think. The process allowing life to begin hasn't yet been completely figured out and the conditions required may be really complicated. Maybe in the past, the universe was way more hostile and only recently have things cooled down to make complex life possible. Hmm. This would also mean that we may be unique or at least one of the first, yeah. if not the first, civilization in the entire universe. Two, there are great filters and they are ahead of us. This yeah. one would be really, really bad. Maybe life on our level exists everywhere in the universe, but it gets destroyed when it reaches a certain point, a point that lies ahead of us. Yeah. For example, awesome future technology exists, but when activated, it destroys the planet. The last words of every advanced civilization would be, this new device will solve all of our problems once yeah. I push this button. If yeah. this is true, then we are closer to the end than the beginning yeah. of human existence. Yeah, or maybe there is an ancient Type 3 civilization that monitors the universe, and once a civilization is advanced enough, it gets eliminated in an instant. Maybe there is something out there that it would be better not to discover. There yeah. is no way for us to know. One final thought, maybe we're alone. Right now, yeah. we have no evidence that there's any life besides us. Nothing. The universe appears to be empty and dead. No one sending us messages, hmm. no one answering our calls. We may be completely alone, trapped on a tiny moist mud ball hmm. in an eternal universe. Does that thought scare you? Hmm. If it does, you're having the correct emotional reaction. <laughs> if hmm. we let life on this planet die, perhaps yes. there will be no life left in the universe. Life will be Jeez. gone maybe forever. If this is the case, we just have to venture to the stars and become the first Type 3 civilization to keep the delicate flame of life existing and to spread it until the universe breathes its final breath and vanishes into oblivion. The universe is too beautiful not to be experienced by someone. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, pretty interesting, man. So many galaxies. Man, what was like 100 billion or something like that? There's a lot. I can't keep track of all the numbers, though. I said, mm -hmm. Even if we tried to, like, go to, I guess, the nearest, like, universe mm -hmm. or whatever, something like that, he was saying, like, It'd it would take billions of years. Yeah. So, I mean, unless had, like, you can, like, create some kind of super fast machine that will sustain life for yeah. thousands upon thousands of years, there's yeah. no way you're ever going to reach another one yeah. of those. That it was is, his point. Yeah. So, it's more about exploring our own galaxy. Yeah. And you said, yeah, it's, not, it's hard enough to explore our own galaxy. Then you can explore another galaxy. Yeah. Or universe, I guess, because I think, oh well, yeah, yeah, it's our galaxy and our universe. Mm -hmm. So it is other universes. Shoot, that is crazy, man. It is so huge out there. Man. It's like, it's like, man, like it's man. probably infinite. Like it, the gal, the universe itself is probably. Infinite. I would say infinite. I would say. I don't know if it ever ends. I would say it keeps expanding. That more. doesn't almost that make it. Doesn't that almost make it infinite? The fact that it's just continually expanding on its own accord. No, nah, I mean take example. Let's take we take like some blocks, block, 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 block. Don't mean a block infinite. It is we just add more blocks, you know? know. So it's I like the know. same it's thing. It's crazy though to think of it. Yeah, you know, but man, you you would need some really super advanced technology, you know. Mm -hmm. But apparently, let's say we was advanced, you know, um, you know, alien race out there. Apparently, they ain't reached us yet because they, you know, right? Or they know about us and they're just not doing anything about it. Yeah. But. It's hard to say. You know, standing themselves. It's crazy to think about. It's so mind-boggling to think about. But any of these could be true. Like there. I mean, you always have could be life, or we could be alone. Yeah, I mean, you always have reports that people say they seen UFOs. I mean, I don't rule it out. Cause some people say that crazy. Rule it out too, but you see some. Weird it, stuff it, it, that yeah, people see. it's too many. It's too many people who said I seen some. I seen some, and I definitely don't. Rule well, you it also out. don't know if it's just like the United States or whatever country testing out something that they don't want to It could to be, but some people so say they like they seen things, you know. That's true. Beyond that, yeah. You know, so it's one of those things, man. Mm -hmm. But uh, no. this was 
a definitely good video mm -hmm. man but but the good in this video mm -hmm. if you want to leave us any special video requests like i said again check out the links to our stream lab it's going to be in our description make sure to keep the videos under 12 minutes and leave your video link don't forget to subscribe and thumbs it up turn on notifications it should be more it be and the phone when you catch on next to awesome peace and love baby.